just got back from the gym, put a little bit of makeup on. We're having a very light makeup day today because I've had this weird little tiny bout of acne on my face, which is now tiny, but yes, as of last night, it was huge. I won't even like scare you with pictures of it, but it was to the point where I had to send Caroline higher into text message being like, please help me. So yeah, it is a cleanser, moisturizer, and zero other product on this area until further notice. But very fortunately, I don't have a lot on this week. It is very, very quiet compared to last week. So it's a real sort my life out kind of week. And I know you guys actually love these weeks. I find them so boring, like literally the most boring thing that I could film, but I know you guys love them. So I thought I would bring you along with me. This week, I've got a list of things that I really need to get done. Cue a lot of montages. We've got covers to sort through, products to sort through, like paperwork to sort through, all the organization of goodness. And interestingly, at the gym, I actually listened to a podcast and someone said, is it micro productivity? I can't remember what the phrase was that was used, but I thought it was really interesting. But the overall thing that was said is if you can't organize the tiny things in your life, how are you expecting to like organize anything on a larger scale? And I was like, yeah, that was the little kick up the bum that I needed to get my whole life together today because whenever I have a week where I go away, it's only one week where I'm away, but there's always a week before it where I'm like working overtime to get everything done because I know the next week I'm away. So there's a lot of stuff. There's actually two weeks worth of stuff that falls by the wayside. So if anyone's wondering how my life ends up in this much of a mess, so often that's why. But yeah, like I said, I've just been to the gym, feeling good. I'm wearing my little Adenola blue set, which I love so much. This color blue is just, I really love it. Cool, what is it, cornflower blue? You guys always remind me. I love this color blue. It's one of my favorites. But more excitingly than the mass organization that is about to ensue, it's pancake day. I don't know why I'm whispering that. And Chef Ryan is currently in the kitchen whipping up pancakes. So I think we should go join him. Nala is down here being a whole mood as per usual. Just in case anyone wants to see the Adenola set, you can really tell how grey it is today. Like it is a really crappy weather day, hence the making absolutely zero effort with my hair because I've already been rained on. But yeah, this is the Adenola set. I absolutely love it. And these are the seven, eight leggings, which they do, which basically finish it around here on me, which is a real novelty that I will never get over. Absolutely love the set. And then I'm wearing some H&M socks and my Nike trainers, which are in dire need of a wash. Let's go find the chef. <laughs> How you doing? We're good. It smells delicious. Is this your like starter one? Yeah, just to get the heat right. Yeah. We've got all of our bits over here. Lots of toppings. I'm very excited to have lemon and sugar on mine personally. Someone else got pancakes too, because your dad is insane. <laughs> okay, I have had my pancakes. I'm feeling very, very cool right now. This is my little outfit of the day for this afternoon's little clear out spree. We're starting with bathroom cabinets. I can't remember if I've said that already, but they are priority because they keep, everything keeps falling out on me when I open the doors and it's really, really bugging me. So that's where we're gonna be starting. It's just gonna be me sat on the floor in the cold in my bathroom. So I wanted to wear something quite comfy. So we've got this white, it's like an off-white Zara body. My trackies are from Topshop. 
by ASOS. They've got a little white seam down the side. I really, really like them. So I love wearing them with a white top as well because of the seam. And then I've got a pair of White Company socks on with my White Company slippers. All very chic. Okay, so for those of you that haven't seen my bathroom, this is what we are starting with. This is my bathroom cupboard. This is all I have in terms of bathroom storage. And it just gets a little bit out of control sometimes. And Ryan has a bit more skincare in here now than he used to. So I want to make like a little section for him and just get it all cleared out. Like my retainer stuff whenever I need to get to it is a nightmare. So yeah, I want to cut down on this massively. So let's give that a go. I think I'll turn the light on in here because I feel like I can't see anything better. This light is from Wayfair, by the way. I get asked about this all the time. Honestly, one of the top three purchases I would say I've made for this house. Just makes the bathroom feel like a hotel bathroom. I love it. Yeah, this is what we are working with. Let's get started. So we're in the cupboard. I'm gonna start off by pulling out things that I know are staying. Allies of skin. Molecular Savia Probiotics Treatment Mist. I love this. That is staying. I should also pull out Ryan's skincare because he doesn't have a lot so it's obviously all staying. We've got the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Overnight Rehydrating Mask with 10.5% squalene. Why is the name so long? Facial fuel. Loves that. We then also have underneath all of my stuff. He actually has a bag. So I am also going to be keeping the take the day off cleansing oil. Always, always, always have that in my bathroom cupboard in multiples. <laughs> So this one is about to run out. This is my backup. I think I always have a backup in my office as well. I really need to start using like the office drawer. The office drawer is now really, really clear as you will have seen if you watch my previous sorting my life out video that I posted in January. It's really clear now there's lots of space for backups. So I might start using that a little bit more for a lot of this stuff. saint bronzing, what is this? Bronzing water face mist, love that. I think we'll find a fair few of these in the cupboard. There's also a fair few in the drawer as well, but I use them over and over again. I use them for my face daily, I use them for my hands. So handy for your hands, so handy for like spraying onto your back as well if you can't reach the spot on your back. I never need anyone to do my back anymore. Just use that, it's so good. We have the Medicaid C Tetra, C Tetra, basically a vitamin C serum. I have really struggled with vitamin C, but I'm gonna keep that one because I know that it is a really good one. I've got Olaplex shampoo. This is in a mini. This can go in the drawer in the office because I don't need to reach for this in my own bathroom cupboard. I'll take that traveling and I have a mini section in the office, so that's perfect. We then have a Medicaid moisture mask. I haven't used this yet, but I'm gonna keep that. I really like Medicaid products. If I need a moisture mask, I can use that. Retainers, these need to go in the box. Jolene, if you know, you know. saint it bronzing, water gel, essential. saint it's self-tan, luxwit cream mousses. They are essential, they're staying. I also like to keep them in the bathroom. I like them upright as much as possible. Kate Somerville Spray SPF. This is an essential, however, I'm going to move it into the office because I generally tend to use this only in summer. Oh, Aloe's of Skin Promise Keeper, essential. Helio Care SPF, that is an essential. I use that literally every single morning. Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I use this on my neck because my neck gets really dry. Essential. Allies, Peptides and Omega's Firming Eye Cream, essential. Dr. Jar C Capair, Color Correcting Treatments, essential. However, I have backups, so that can go in the office. Then we've got Olaplex shampoos and treatments, which can stay in here. Kerastase mask, which is an essential. Kerastase treatment, I have one of these in my bedroom, and I don't know why I have one in my bathroom, so this can go in the office. Okay, then we have a tub of like essential items over here, so that can come out. And then we have my Q-tips, which can also come out. And then my tub of tweezers and scissors, those are essential. So yeah, everything else is kind of non- essential so I'm gonna go through this now and decide what I'm keeping or what I'm gonna give away to friends or I feel like I've just seen an eye cream which is a real dodgy colour. Olaplex moisture mask that's almost used up so I'm gonna leave that in here. Mini shower gel almost used up I'm gonna leave that in here. Virage Pose tinted sunscreen that can go in the office. Shampoo can go in the office. More shampoos to go in the office. Hand cream can also go in the office. Okay this needs to be out so I remember to use it. Sunday Riley pink drink. I do want to try this so I'm gonna leave that. Charlotte Tilbury magic cream light that's gonna go in the office. Estee Lauder advanced night repair that can go in the office. Beachy eye cream can go in the office. Beachy serum. Basically trying to keep a lot of things that just need using up. saint bronzing mousses. These ones I don't use as regularly as the others, so I'll put them in the office. Tan Luxe Super Glow Body. Just not my favourite. I'm going to put it in the office in case I feel like using it in the summer, but 
not my fave. Meteorite transforming body lotions. These are actually really good. So I'm going to keep the one that's almost used up. And then I'll put this one in the office. Aesop hand wash. That's my backup for the one up there. Rotary oil. This is almost used up. So I'm going to keep that up here. A fresh sugar face polish. I'm done with using any manual exfoliants. So that can go. Ooh, this brand. Oh, everything always smells so good. Literally like holidays. I love using this in the summer. I'm going to put that in the office because I'm not using it right now. Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Vitamins. This is like a bronzing serum for your face. I'm going to put that in the office because I'm not using that so much right now. I just love the mist for my face. Paula's Choice 10% Nice Cinnamide Booster. I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to pop that there to test out. I'm going to also pop this here. This is the Allies of Skin Mandelic Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum. I would like to test that. The Ren Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. This is so good. I have had this a long time, but it still is looking okay. We've got two cleansers. We've got the Herbivore Pink Cloud Cleanser and the Summer Fridays Super Amino Gel Cleanser. I'm going to keep these. These make nice morning cleanses and they're great to have in case I run out of my Oskia. We've got my Allies Retinol Overnight Mask. This is very good. I'm going to keep that there medicate crystal retinol i'm gonna put that in the office i like that one but i'm not using it right now got some brushes that's seriously need washing sarah chapman skin assist intense hydrating booster this is so good so so good we've got the glossier fragrance that can go in the office i keep these at the back of my cupboard you probably saw in my like clear out last year but i always hide these at the back for like a special occasion because they smell so good and i just love them i need to get the actual fragrance of these because it smells delicious <laughs> how it is looking i know gorgeous right the only problem is i am now surrounded by a lot more products than are currently in front of us right now and i need to find a home for them but we've got all of my olaplexes like self tans backups of other cleansers that aren't my favorite cleansers up here and out the way we've then got little diptyque jars full of just like useful kind of bits also i don't know what this is what the hell is this it's been like this since i moved in let's ignore we've then got ryan's bits over here i've just moved them up a shelf and then down here we have all of my dental stuff all over this side which is much much handier the only thing i might switch over is i don't pull this out as much as i pull this out this is my tin with all of my retainers in it so i might just switch those over just for easier access because this gets in the way anyway we've got my mouthwash behind which may pose a problem we'll see how we get on it might be that i move this all up slightly and allow myself easier access to the mouthwashes as well but yeah then we've got all of my daily use stuff the stuff to kind of like try out just behind it got my hair masks at the back so i obviously don't use those like daily and then we have this little pouch here which is the pouch i take it's full of like doubles of all of these and i take it when i stay overnight and it just makes it so much handier i never miss like taking a piece of skincare out with me anymore so yeah looking very very neat and tidy but now i am surrounded by this quick because i am competing with the sound of the washing machine which has kindly just stopped oh there it is i'm on to yet another load of washing but we are dealing with my under the island kitchen cupboard i'm doing this in bits just when i feel like ready to do it because these are such annoying sorting my life out jobs which like the original sorting my life out that i did a few months back was really fun because it was just all makeup and cute this is not cute the drawer next to it here not cute so i'm tackling this one first whilst i feel ready i have this vase which have just washed out and i need to be able to house it and this is the perfect cupboard it's like perfect height for this vase this vase is just absolutely ginormous and to be honest am i gonna have a bunch of flowers this big all the time probably not so it does really need a home it can't like sit out so i'm going to clear out some space in here this is a mix of literally everything dog stuff irons tupperware literally everything gardening stuff so i'm gonna go through i'm going to cleanse let's do this This 
looks so much better there was so much stuff in here that i didn't even know was in here now it looks great i've got a little bit for my masks i wonder where all the silk ones have gone they're actually in here games books i'm tr gonna try and keep this clear because when ryan moves in we're gonna need to fill this with all of his cookbooks because i don't know where else they're gonna go we've got some very random bits we've got space for the giant jar all of nala's stuff gardening stuff you can smell that the treat cupboard is open can't you <laughs> really rainy outside today and i didn't want to wear like a big woolly cashmere kind of hat so i've gone for this adenola hat and i think it's really cute though i do look like i'm about to rob a bank or something or i'm like going undercover but i'll take it i'm liking the cute like brown tones in this outfit so we've got my mango coat which i got around november time and just absolutely love it's super long on me but yeah i really like it i've got my fendi little camera bag because it is waterproof really convenient and i just don't need to carry a lot of stuff around today i've also got some white company socks on with my nike trainers and then underneath i've just got adenola black seven eight leggings on and then a black tee because i'm literally just going to get my nails sorted that is sorting my life out task number one of the day and then we're going to come back and do some more bits i'm very excited to get my nails done because <laughs> I'm currently missing gel on at least one now. So very excited to be going into Brighton this morning because it means that I can get myself a Joe in the Juice, which I am just so obsessed with at the moment. And this is a very expensive new little addiction of mine because I could definitely make this stuff at home, but I'm really looking forward to it. Right guys, we need to sort this out. Ella's not impressed <laughs> at this one. <laughs> This is the Rebuild. I really, really like it. It's basically like cacao, avocado, banana, all of the really yummy things. Protein in it, which is really good for me. So I picked that up on the way home. Also picked up a little like raw snack thing because I think Ryan will really like it. And now as you can probably, what is this bit of hair doing? As you can probably see, I'm now sat at my desk catching up on a lot of work. I'm feeling quite behind at the moment. So I'm gonna blast out a little bit of work. I have a call in about an hour. And then I need to get through some of my other life organization bits. I have a list. So not all of this is getting done today. We have Depop items to sort out. I need to wash my brushes. I have have another kitchen cupboard that needs sorting i don't want to do that one but i know it's actually going to be easier than the one i did yesterday it just doesn't look like it but it just i'm making a mountain of it in my head and i also then have the monumental task of sorting these photo albums behind me they are currently blank i bought them maybe nearly two years ago now they're still blank and i have a lot of random different photo albums from when like i was growing up then my mum made me one and i just want to amalgamate them all is that the right word I think it's the right word. I just want them all in one system and I really like these like plain ones. They're from Paper Chase. 
as it says right there. And I really like these because they're very simple and I feel like will always be quite easy ones to buy repeats of, even if it's not from the same store. I think these will be quite generic ones. And I like the thought of them all being in the same style. And then you can just really easily label what years they are and things like that. It just find that so pleasing however as much as I love I love 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 looking through old photos it's one of my favorite things to do the sorting part of this because I want it in like perfect chronological order hurts my brain a little bit so that is the one that I'm really putting off but the one that I actually think once I get into it I will enjoy it the most the one that I'm not looking forward to the most I actually think is washing my makeup brushes which there are so many I don't know if I'm gonna get through them all because I haven't been on top of it so there's a lot but I'm gonna aim to get through a few today so we're gonna do that as well but yeah I have a lot of admin to get through until we start that I actually am really behind because I was away on lots of house bits so we have had the drawings through for the loft which won't be happening for quite a while but i just wanted to be really ahead with it for like planning permission for i know that certain things you have to get like neighbors permissions and i don't want this to be like a last minute rush job everything i'm doing at the moment is trying me trying to avoid a last minute rush job because i hate that kind of stress so yeah we've had that through so i need to arrange a call about that i might be able to show you i might show you like a little bit of what it's going to look like maybe like a top floor i'll insert it here but it's literally a draft and there are why am I not in focus? Like what is wrong with my camera? There are some things that I'm not 100% happy with just in terms of like how it would practically work. So there are a couple of smaller windows, which I don't know if you'll be able to tell from what I'm gonna show you because I'm only gonna show you stuff that doesn't like show other parts of the house. But basically there are some windows that have been designed onto the extension and they basically wouldn't allow a lot of light in. And I know it's more for privacy, but it's not really practical for what I will probably be using the room for so that needs to be tweaked but other than that I think that's all that I want to tweak but I need to send the draft to my builder yeah I need to send that to my builder to see what he thinks and then have my call do all of that I also need to speak to building control and I need to chase up another quote I need to send stats this afternoon I need to make a donation to Red Cross so that is what I'm going to be getting on with this afternoon so I'll probably check in with you once I have finished my smoothie and once I have got through all of my admin for the afternoon I also have so much editing to do I'm so behind on my reels so I need to get that started as well My invoices are down. I swear it's this. This makes me like an admin machine. My invoices, my invoices? No, my emails. My emails are down from like 200 emails to 50. I've done all of my like people I need to contact for all of the building stuff. Got three reels ready to go. Very excited about that. I've been so behind and I really am in actually enjoying, genuinely enjoying posting reels at the moment. So it's been making me sad that I haven't had the time to do that whilst I was away. I feel like I've done so much. It probably doesn't sound like I've done much at all. I need to clear up my kitchen. I've had my call. I've done all the admin. I'm so happy. If only I didn't have to go and wash my brushes now, this would be a great moment in the day. I'm going to stick my hair up in a bun. I think I'm going to take my makeup off because the house is quite warm and I feel like, you know, when you feel like you're cheeks are like eating up your makeup and that cannot be good for your skin get into some real like comfy ugly clothes and just smash out this brush washing This 
was probably at the worst hour of my life, but we finally got there. I'm sure this is meant to look really aesthetically pleasing if you all have the same brushes, but I've been collecting brushes for years, so it's a bit of a mess. I almost did the perfect amount of brushes for this little holder. Can you tell it's dinner time? Like, look at her. She keeps coming up to me and like pushing me. But this little hangy thing is from Spectrum, I believe, and it's actually very handy. It comes with, I'll show you actually, I've got the box. Yeah. yeah, from Spectrum, it's called the Brush Laundrette and it comes with the soap, which has the washy bit in the lid and then this little hangy towel thing, which is really, really handy. So thank you very much to my brother's girlfriend who has made this situation slightly more bearable for me. And now I need to clean my sink because it's disgusting. So we have yet another load of washing on the go. I'm cooking dinner. I'm calling it Susie's Special Rice because I'm hoping it will distract Ryan from the fact that I've literally just used all of the leftovers in the fridge and it's a really weird mix of food. But one thing that I wanted to tell you about is this stuff. I got it from Sainsbury's. It's so good. So it's basically like a vegan garlic butter. Oh, just get it. Just go buy it. If you like garlic and you're plant-based, just go and buy it. Or you're dairy-free. Or you just don't like dairy. Buy it. So good. It's like not even that windy. I'm trying to cover my face because the sun is like blinding me slightly. Why don't you put your sunglasses on? They say. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to hold my hair back. My sunglasses are acting as a hair accessory right now, not a form of shielding my eyes. But yeah, it's such a lovely morning. I actually have been feeling very anxious this morning, so I decided to skip the gym and come for a proper outdoor walk down the beach. It makes me feel so much better. So. Got the sun out, the sea's looking lovely, it's all twinkly. I've also just realised from where I was washing my brushes last night, <laughs> there is water all over this camera lens, so I don't know if you can even see me. But yeah, this is my start to the day today. It's lovely. cupboard if you don't watch friends you won't know that reference if some of you watched the spring cleaning videos last year you will remember me sorting these out I haven't really sorted it out since so it is an absolute state i can't find anything i can't do anything without things falling out on me some people might think this is staged this is genuinely not staged this is actually the chaos that lives inside some cupboards in the house actually very few left now we've got this and one drawer which i think i'm just gonna put off until maybe i retire to be honest So we have hand washes, we have cloths, we have sponges, we have dishwasher stuff, we have washing stuff, magic sponges, which I love. I always get stuff on my walls. Then we have lots of like multi-purpose cleaner. This is my favorite scent that I stocked up on when Method did this. It's the Ginger Twist. Mm, so good. So I love that. So I have a couple of spare bottles of that. I have lots of these little Febreze things. I'm on a ban from buying these now because I didn't realize how many I had. This is always why it's good to do these clear outs. We have these little things that you put in your toilet system and they make the water a really pretty color. I have floor mop thingies, my duster at the back, 
like got various different types of bin bags and then we have my bags for life and tote bags and stuff so yeah looking much much better okay so i have thrown some fake tan on ahead of my filming tomorrow i'm doing a spring wedding guest dresses i know my previous video last year was so popular with you guys so i'm bringing it back again for this year so i've got my tan on underneath here and it's all doing its good work i've got my dry shampoo is dry shampooing because i really can't be bothered to wash my hair ahead of this video tomorrow so i'm just gonna put it in a bun and be done with that also i don't like to wash my hair after i wash tan off i feel like it kind of messes up the development process a little bit. I only do it if I absolutely have to. So yeah, I'm just gonna work with some uh, slightly dodgy hair tomorrow. But most importantly, the tan is on and I now need to get steaming all of the dresses. So yeah, let's crack on with that. Good morning everybody it's friday i am so so ready for the weekend i can't even tell you i was up very late last night editing i had a deadline this morning and obviously i'd spent yesterday filming and doing lots of admin bits and kind of hadn't got that done so i am very tired today and i've just been finishing that off this morning so sadly probably not going to get to do the photo album sorting this week which i'm not particularly mad about it, if I'm honest. What we did get done was a lot of steaming, which is great. I'm filming wedding guest dress outfits for spring today. So I am going to crack on with this. Very excited to try everything on. There's this blue dress on the end in particular that I am really excited about. I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. I really hope you enjoy just spending the week at home with me, watching me sort my life out. Like, my God. It's so boring, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you do enjoy this kind of video and I will do it more. But if you're like, we are so over this now, I'm also okay with that. So just let me know. But I hope you all had a lovely week and you're all doing really well. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Love you, bye.